It's Chucks Moran in here with a film breakdown and evaluation of Florida running back Damien Pierce. Pierce measured in at the NFL Combine at 5 feet 10 inches tall, 218 pounds, with 30 and 3 fourths inch arms and 9 and 3 eighths inch hands. Pierce consistently makes the first unblocked defender miss, and you're going to see an example of it here against Samford. It's an inside split zone run. He's going to press inside first, but there's nowhere to go, so he's going to get to the outside. Now, he's one-on-one -on -one with this defender, and I want you to see where his toes and his hips are pointed. They're to the sideline, and he's going to make a sideways cut, a lateral cut, relative to where his body positioning is, but that cut gets him north-south, and that's what's going to get the defender to whiff air, and he's going to go forward for a nice gain. So this is a really nice run by Pierce. Again, the agility to make this cut, but consistently making the first unblocked defender miss is a really good ability to have. Two things I want you to notice with this play, one good, one bad. So inside split zone again, Pierce is going to take this to the inside, he's going to press again to the line of scrimmage and notice how that gets these two second level defenders going inside. So it's going to open up a pathway here, a running lane to the outside for Pierce to hit he's gonna attack it so here he is getting to the outside so he's got he's got a lane this is a touchdown for any running back that has what you call plus ability plus a burst and acceleration to get to that second level but that's something that Pierce does lack he it's, it's good enough for I guess you can say starter level but it's not a strength of his his acceleration and speed are lacking and ultimately that's what gets him to get caught from behind here. So even though he does have good vision here to bait the linebackers, that burst, that lack of burst, is his downfall in this play, prevents him from scoring. This is one of the more impressive runs by Pierce you'll see. This is a power run. You're going to see the left guard. He's going to pull in the lead block for Pierce. And look at the patience for Pierce to set it up. He's going to make this defender miss. Good contact bounce on that reach attempt. And then make that defender miss again on another reach attempt. He's going to cut it back. Look at that cut. And then look here. He's going to have the vision to cut this back because he sees this defender potentially cutting off his pathway to the end zone. So he's going to have the elusiveness to cut it back, avoid number 95. And then he's going to get into the end zone. That's a fun run by Pierce. He has the patience to set it up, the contact balance to elude defenders, and then the vision and the agility to finish it off and get into the end zone. This is probably my favorite play that I've seen from Pierce. This is a power run, so you're going to see the right guard pull and lead block for Pierce. But as the play develops and starts, he takes the handoff. Now, the first thing I want to point out, when... Pierce is going one way and then he has to change direction the complete opposite way or you know has to make a really sharp cut. He does require a bit of a gear down or he, he requires gather steps in order to get his momentum going the opposite direction. So that is one downside to his agility. It's, it's good agility but he does require that gear down as you see. But now look at him get a field and look at him look at him just force his way into the end zone his helmet comes off I mean the play is called dead it's not a touchdown but Pierce is a type of runner he really runs angry he's fearless and he's tough and he runs with a lot of intensity and passion and you can see clearly not only on this play but several others just how tough of a runner he is and you love seeing that type of intensity from your running back this run doesn't go for 20 yards, but I really like it because it displays more of Pierce's strength, his lower body strength especially. So here, he gets wrapped up here now by two defenders, but look at him just push, and leg drive, the strength to get an extra yard or two. I mean, that's, again, that's really impressive leg drive and strength. He's got two defenders here. Here's a third one on him right there. And then here comes a fourth one trying to bring him down, but he's still going to push forward. He's got really, really good lower body strength to him. Now you want to see that strength translate to pass protection. 
Look at him here. He's going to take on the Blitzer. And look how low he gets, first of all. He makes sure he uses his leverage. And then look at him take on Defender here. With a point of attack. And then watch him. Just drive that Defender back. That's some really good stuff. Again, right here. Point of attack. He's just driving that Defender backwards. You don't see that often. But it goes to show how strong he is. Pierce is a good receiver. He's going to work here out of the backfield, just to the left of the quarterback. And on the play, he's going to leak out, get down the field, and look at him extend away from his frame, high point the ball away from the out outstretched arm of the defender, and he's going to pluck it down for the touchdown. So he does a lot of this stuff, a lot of work out of the backfield, down the field. He has very confident hands. To grab it away from his body. Good extension. Touchdown. Damian Pierce projects as a great complimentary running back in a committee with upside of becoming a good starter. He can run both gap and zone schemes but is better at and more ideal for gap. He excels as a smart downhill runner with good vision and decision making. He possesses excellent contact balance to go with good agility quickness, and a knack for always making the first defender miss. What teammates, coaches, and fans love about him is how he plays with high intensity and aggressiveness. He's a fearless player who will inflict more punishment onto defenders than vice versa. He adds a lot of value in the passing game, both as a pass protector and receiver. He possesses great hands and can pluck the ball out of the air away from his body effectively. He has experience running vertical routes down the field. Pierce's one glaring weakness to his game is his lack of burst and play speed. His athletic limitations, while being good enough to be considered starter level, certainly holds him back from having the high upside you wish to see in a player like him. Overall, Pierce is the type of running back who will have a long career in the NFL because of a lack of tread on his tires his consistency, and his ability to be used in a variety of roles for an offense. He'd be a safe pick in round three of the draft. He'd be a safe pick in round three of the draft.